if you don't know me my name is taranjit singh rai and yes i'm a award winning scientist teacher lecturer now a senior lecturer just got promoted last week and a football coach what i'm not is a financial advisor these videos are totally for entertainment purposes only i have a really special project which i'm going to bring to you today which no one no one on the planet is talking about so before i get into that project i have been researching that project for over a year before i introduce that project let's have a chat about blockchains so think about blockchains as motorways okay so you can go from a to b okay on a fast open motorway without paying any toll fees so those would be the cheaper blockchains for example cosmos for example binance smart chain for example arbitrum uh, and so on and so forth and then there are congested highways for example ethereum but people trust congested motorway more then let's say some newly uh, made motorways where there might be uh, not enough lighting so on and so forth so i hope you understand that from going from a to b you can go on any blockchain but people for the moment trust the bitcoin blockchain more the ethereum blockchain more but more blockchains are coming now the whole financial system the first use case of blockchains is the financial system so you can do defi which is decentralized finance and many many other things you know most of the stock market for example can be tokenized on blockchain but don't consider blockchains as just uh, for making money for crypto no there are so many other uses for example you can actually have dna sequencing locked on a blockchain where only you can access that data through a decentralized wallet or something like that anyways so vitalik who is founder of ethereum blockchain along with charles hoskinson who is now founder of cardano along with gavin wood he he proposed the blockchain trilemma idea so you can either be decentralized or scalable or you have to at least sacrifice one component or you can be more secure but you can't have all three criteria uh, fulfilled the latest versions of blockchains for so for example near protocol which is doing sharding they try to address this uh, trilemma so this will be one of the most important narratives going forward for uh, blockchains any blockchain that aims to solve those trilemmas will be the market leader who knows the next important buzzword will be cross chain web3 i think you have been uh, hearing a lot about web3 web3 is just a glorified version of web2 it is the same guys there is not much difference i would say web3 is filled with more creepy people as compared to web2 anyways so any blockchain brings the idea of cross chain uh, functionalities that will be a new trend modular blockchains need to be modular so uh, biggest example here is cosmos where you have layer 0 some people call it layer 1 but let's say layer 0 on top of which you build for example terra collapse did not impact at all the cosmos hub the next important criteria going forward is inter and intra operable so let's say uh, you you will should be able to talk between polka dot and cosmos cosmos avalanche ethereum binance smart chain so on so forth and because the scalability issue is a big issue now you have zero knowledge proof technology it is very very hot because of the airdrops because of the arbitrum uh, airdrop people have been hunting people have been trying to do things on zk sync now really clever by zk sync to basically launch the mainnet next day after arbitrum i think that is to drain away liquidity uh, from arbitrum it's a competitor competitive vault yeah it's for me it's it, that that is that was a sensational move however i'm not airdrop hunting plenty of people well all the youtubers <laughs> whatever trend they see they start making videos so plenty of that i'm not going to go into it so the idea is to look under zk sync okay what are the projects that are building under zk sync what are the projects that are actually trying to do all of this so i introduce to you spacefy what is spacefy it is a fully integrated uh, system uh it contains a sustainable chemistry between various modules it is my next 100x pick okay i'm not a financial advisor these videos are for entertainment purposes only i have been researching this project for over a year and i feel now comfortable bringing it to you after i have seen the progress the reason i was reluctant was they had too much attack surface they have too much intra operable parts but i think after they got the grant from fmos foundation which was about 1 million fmos uh i think uh, also the team doxed to the fmos foundation so i now feel comfortable to bring this project to you if i were a new project every single day i will be bringing you rug pulls hence i'm only a weekend youtuber smash that like button share subscribe also i operate a discord dao group 
where there is no charge to join. I give you free alpha. Everyone has to take responsibility. Link for that Discord is in the description. Come join the revolution. You can trade on SpaceFi. You can earn uh, using uh, real yield and DeFi. You can mint, stake, sell Planet NFT. I actually bought uh, NFT uh, last year in September, I think. You can uh, create your own group. Uh, you can create a space space, what they call. They have a launchpad, so you can actually invest in uh, new projects. And they also run a validator on FMOS. I don't know if, if uh, there is an airdrop coming for people who delegate uh, to their validator or if there is a snapshot being done. Hopefully, people from the community who are watching this video can tell me in the comments. Uh, if uh, you delegate to their validator, would you be able uh, to get a airdrop? Here's the simple principle. This is credit to a guy called David C uh, from the SpaceFi community. So uh, that's your SpaceFi, that's the ZK Sync here, and that's the FMOS. So basically what SpaceFi will do, it will connect the whole of Cosmos and other blockchains to the ZK Sync network. And the way they do it, so they have a bridge. Many, many people are bridging assets from uh, Cosmos into Ethereum, you can actually use the Gravity Bridge, which is another uh, uh, important project in Cosmos ecosystem, where you can bring, let's say, USDC from Ethereum to Cosmos, uh, to other uh, EVM, so uh, Ethereum virtual machine compatible chains. And I think this will be a really nice uh, integration of the Cosmos ecosystem with the Ethereum uh, ecosystem. And SpaceFi hopes to be at the center of this. A quick look at uh, tokenomics, uh, because they got this 1 million uh, liquidity incentives from FMOS, they also were third in the DeFi category, one of the FMOS hackathons. So uh, <laughs> they are really talented folks who are building uh, SpaceFi. So the initial supply uh, was 1.2 billion, but uh, after uh, uh, the FMOS uh, foundation grant, they have decreased it to 600 million and it will take more than 10 years. I'll show you in a second. Uh, it will take more than 10 years to reach uh, that supply. Currently, emissions are 125,000 per day, and majority of it is dedicated to the liquidity incentives. Some of it goes to the DAO. Some of 20% uh, uh, will go to the dev team. It is a really complicated tokenomics, uh, folks, but let's 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 have a quick uh, go at it and then try. So they have a deflationary pressure the first thing i want to say so basically if someone wins uh, nft 90 percent is burnt if someone tries to bridge across uh, from fmos to zk sync 90 percent of the fees is burnt if someone mints uh, space base 90 percent is burnt any money that the exchange is earning a part of it also buys back space from the open market and burns it uh, if you hold an nft you, and, and i hold the nft and, and if you stake it then you will get a bonus and again of NFT holders. So I think it's a really innovative tokenomics. I have not seen this level of detail in um, any other uh, project. And I'm gonna show you how I am earning uh, when once we uh, look at the app and you can see that majority. So this pink in, in here is, is mining uh, rewards. It is a really very well balanced uh, emission and very well balanced uh, burn uh, mechanism where there is inflation is countered by constant deflation. The roadmap is, um, I think they need to probably update this, uh, <laughs> again, if the founders are watching this video. We are here, launched the NFT, they have deployed on ZK Sync, exploring interoperability so uh, solutions at the moment. The bridge is live, so I think uh, the, the team needs to update uh, the roadmap. Maybe I haven't uh, found it yet, so again, any community member welcome to please educate me in the comments let's let's have a quick look at the app uh, so you can do a swap so there is a selection of assets here xlr usdc at a mosmo juno space x space x space is basically a VC token you have to convert your space to x space to go into the single-sided pool I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second if you want to provide liquidity you need to come to this pool page uh, and, and add liquidity. Again, I'm happy to make tutorials if there is demand. So here, here we go. So I have approximately 7189 uh, space converted into X space is again very revolutionary. This is to decrease the sell pressure because what people do usually in DeFi, they will actually sell daily yield and that, that results in a lot of selling pressure. What they have done is there is a 30 day unbonding. If you wanna sell sp uh, X space <coughs> on the same day you harvest, you will only get 50%. The other 50% is bond. So you need to wait 30 days. For the moment, 
uh, APR is pretty high. So I am just harvesting and adding into the pool every day, kind of compounding. Also, I'm very, very burnt by impermanent loss in uh, Cosmos where I was providing a lot of liquidity on os Osmosis. I just only feel comfortable in single-sided uh, pools because I do believe this project has good future. So I'm just trying to accu accumulate as many space tokens as I can. I did provide uh, liquidity in this uh, space FMOS pool where the APR is again pretty high, but I have a very, very small amount. So you can see I'm earning X space and also X FMOS. So again, that is the same idea. Uh, XFMOS will need to be converted to FMOS before you can sell. I also hold this NFT, which I bought, like, I think probably I was the first ever mentor of, of uh, Planet NFT. It has total of 3,625 uh, space uh, in, in it, and I have, I'm staking it, making really good passive income uh, every, every single day. Again, my strategy here is I harvest this and I put it back. Uh, in the pool, single-sided pool. Uh, Price-wise, it's a new project, so <laughs> it reached as high as, as 50 cents, which is absolutely crazy, folks. It's a very, very new project. Obviously, it's very, very risky. Um, DCA range for me is anywhere between 0.15 to 0.27. So I would say it has come down substantially. If you're looking to buy, you should only buy on massive pullbacks. Never ever buy something at all-time high. It's not a good idea. Just be patient. I have introduced this project. Now you need to do your own research because I'm not a financial advisor. However, um, I would say for me personally, where I would like to accumulate is around 0.15 to 0.27 range. Really good website to track all this DeFi stuff is DeFi Llama and you can see for SpaceFi, we are close to 10 million uh, total value locked, which is just sensational how do you get a space i don't know but for me uh, i i buy fmos on osmosis which is a decentralized exchange you can say app.osmosis.zone and there from here i will send fmos to my metamask and then you can actually come to uh, a swap function here on the app and then use fmos to buy space and and then you can do whatever you want um the only negative i can see is team is not doxed but they are doxed to the fmos foundation so that makes me uh, comfortable. But again, <laughs> as BF was doxxed, the God was doxxed, uh, the amount of fraud that dox people do is probably higher <laughs> than the undoxed people. But uh, again, so those are my thoughts. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on space, on, on this new project. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.